say fault codes. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, oh, I can't get the scanner to talk to a Mark II, I can't get this, OBD won't talk to it. Well, it's not OBD. It's diagnostics, but it's not OBD protocol, like OBD1, OBD2. It's a Mazda plug from 90s, um, and it's basically analog electronics. So if you've got a, like a oscilloscope where you can slow it right down to like a say, five seconds per division or something, then you'll be able to see the the waveform and you'll see like a long flash and how many short peaks which is the number and then a long flash and how many peaks again um, that'll make more sense when I show you the codes on that page um, but yeah otherwise literally you can pop a, a voltmeter in the diagnostic plug and bridge two pins and read the voltmeter when it comes up and down or you can just bridge the pins and read it off of the dashboard on the glow plug light like I'm doing now but if you don't bridge the pins under the bonnet your glow plug light will just flash at you it'll just blink it won't actually do any codes it's just like you've got a problem so it's important that you bridge the pin and then read the code so you get in your truck and something's not right the glow plug lights come back on now you see it's flashing and a glow plug light flashes a code but that's just flashing just flashing on and off on and off to tell you there's something wrong so what you're going to need to do so the next thing you need to do is you need to get your diagnostic tool all right and then I'm going to show you what pins you're going to have to bridge under the bonnet. So come on, let's have a look. You won't be able to use an OBD2 scanner or anything like that with these because they're not, they don't use OBD, it's just simple electronics on these. It's Mazda's own system. So pop the bonnet underneath the bonnet, near the airbox, near the wiper motor, there's this plug. Look. Diagnosis. Just had it open. Right, and you'll see some pins. Not all of them are actually uh, in there. You only got four, one, and three. And uh, I'll show you what you need to do. So what you want to do, looking at the top of that plug, the third pin from the left. So one, two, three, if you like. That's pin ten. T E N. What you want to do is put that to ground. Now there is actually a ground in this socket. Ah, oh, that's right. So on the second row, that first pin's ground. So all you've got to do is get a little bit of wire or paper clip. Don't have to be anything special. As long as it makes a connection. And then get your other end of your wire and poke that in that third pin. As long as that makes a connection. And shove that a bit better in there. That's got it. And then come around the ignition again. Turn the ignition on. Nothing. Next digit. Nothing. Next digit. One. Next digit, one, two, three, four, fourteen. Next digit, nothing flashing, so it's fourteen O. Oh. Next digit, one, two, fourteen O two. Then, so we'll have a quick look what fourteen O two is. Yep, fourteen O two. EGR valve position sensor circuit malfunction. So as you saw, 1402, that's EGR valve position sensor. And let's go take a look at that. Ah, yes. Somebody's unplugged it. So that's how you troubleshoot your diagnostics, if you like. There's not that many codes on a Mark II because they're so simple. 
but all you have to do is bridge that wire and then hop in here and read these codes off of the uh, flashing coil light. As you can see, they just they just roll round, so you know, we'll have another look now. We'll wait for the big pause. Two. And now the next code will roll around. You see a long pause here? And then it'll flash up just long. Start of digit. One. Next digit. One. Next digit. One. One, one, one. Next digit. Nothing. So that's one, 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 O. Oh. Then a long pause. And start your next digit, which is a new code. Zero. One. Next digit. Zero, one, zero. Next digit. So zero, one hundred. So we've got a code of... Uh, I can't remember what the last one was. I'll have to check on the video. So we've got a code of uh, zero, one hundred. So let's have a look at that. Zero, one hundred. And zero, one hundred is math circuit malfunction. So let's go and have a look at that as well. So let's check the math sensor. Oh, look, right. someone's unplugged it. Job done. Now, you get in. You preheat it. You start her up. And look. No glow plug light. Fixed. So, yeah, I'll put a little page up of all these codes at the end of the video. And I hope you can sort your ranger out, basically. They're not hard. Just need a bit of wire or a paper clip. That'll continue flashing those codes. Um, it's basically Morse code, so there'll be a little break, like a long flash for the start of the number, and then how many flashes is the digit, and then a bit of long flash separating that. And there's only about 20 codes in total. So... Yeah, and you can do a similar thing, I'll do another video on airbag, because you can troubleshoot the airbag and the ABS using a similar principle. So yeah, yeah, keep these ranges running. See, when you scan it, it might have codes from, you know, since you last disconnected the battery, basically. So uh, what I'd recommend doing is disconnecting the battery if you've got a fault, and then putting it back on and seeing what's what.